Starving adventures. Make your own friends. They're beefalo. Okay, now that you have printed your own beefalo design, whether or not if it's just a plain old straight from the game beefalo or a super patriotic flag themed beefalo, this is my Taiwanese beefalo. We're gonna go on adventures. It's gonna be great. Let's take a look at the assembly process. So, looking at this, it's pretty self-explanatory. You could probably figure it out. But, you know, I've made too many of these and I've optimized the assembly process. So, let's take a look. First things first, you're gonna need some supplies. You're going to need something sharp, like a sword. Do not use a sword. That was a joke, obviously. Or, you know, some scissors. And exacto knife. And you're gonna want something hard or a piece of cardboard to cut into. Because if you cut up this desk, you're probably going to anger someone. And you're also going to need a glue stick. Or some sort of adhesive that you can glue all this fun stuff together. So, personally, I usually start with the body pieces. Because guess what? These head pieces, super easy to lose. I also use an X-Acto knife for most of it. But you can also use scissors as well. Do whatever you want. I'm not your parent. Before I get into the super fun times cutting montage, I'd just like to point out that I usually cut off the black bits for the beard and the nose. They don't really do much, and it's a little bit easier to just glue it directly onto the face. And if you see these tabs here for the glue, I usually leave a little bit more of extra space so I can actually glue it on things, because this is actually a pretty small 4x6 piece of paper. Okay, you finished the most obsessive part. I hope that took a while because you do want to get some of the white edges and you want to make this thing look good. Okay, let's take a look at how we glue things and fold things. First things first, you want to glue the face pieces together because, again, like I said, these things are super easy to lose. So we're gonna start with the beard. It just, it looks a little bit nicer that way. Beefalo pro tip, you can eat all day. Glue stick beefalo. If you give up on cutting out the beefalo, just cut out the horns and put them on a glue stick. Therefore, you have a beefalo glue stick. So we're going to glue just one side to start. Make sure you match the head properly when you put it down. Because if you put it off to the side, it's going to get a weird bend in its face. Pro tip, shaving a beefalo makes them cute, but they also get sad. Okay, so you've glued it on halfway. I'm just going to leave this here, let it dry so it gets really cohesive. So later on when we fold it in, see this curve here? It'll actually curve the beefalo's face a little bit. So I want to make sure everything's dry on the front before we get going. Okay, so while that's happening, uh, we're just going to move on to the body. Okay, so first off, before you forget, make sure you cut along these lines here. So looking over here, there's a line here and there's a line at the bottom. This is where these inserts will be going in. So you're gonna have to cut into the body of it uh, before everything else happens, okay? Beefalo are too big to roll. <laughs> I'm just gonna assemble it. So again, folding along the lines here, it's pretty well marked. Um, depending on how you design it, um, it should be visible. Um, if it isn't, uh, you better figure it out yourself because it's a little tricky without the lines, and it might become a little warped. When something that big falls over, <laughs> it's going to hurt itself. So a trick here, uh, if, if you want to make sure it doesn't become a little warped, 
as you mash the corners here. And you pat things down. I'm sure everyone knows how glue sticks work. If you don't, I'm sure there's other videos on Google that will help you learn how to use a glue stick. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's finish the assembly here. I'm going to glue all three of these flaps here. So the side ones, the side one here, and the top one up here, up top. Okay, so you're going to want to glue this one first into the body because it just makes it a little bit easier when you want to glue the rest of the sides in. Okay, oops, make sure it slides in all together. Okay, gluing it here. Good, just at the line. So I'm going to flip things over. I'm going to look inside the beefalo here. Put my finger down, just fold the flaps in. And you know, you can kind of adjust it so that it doesn't become kind of awkward looking. Don't roll your low. Okay, let's take a look. Admire it slightly. And we can probably go back to the head. All right, here we go. So second part of the head. This is kind of tricky because if you didn't glue the face on properly, it might come off a bit. So anyway, you're gonna push it down so that the glue stays. Beefalo, your new best friend. See how the face is bending a bit? Okay, final assembly here. Head, body. Yeah, they don't go together. Okay, before I do that, I think I'm just gonna leave this, let it dry a little bit uh, before I finally assemble it. I'm gonna do the tail. So the tail is kind of clumsy. I haven't figured out a good way to put it on properly. Um, right now I just put a ton of glue on it and hope that it stays and I don't manhandle my beefalo so they don't come off usually but sometimes they'll come off during transport. Deep down inside, we're all beefalo. We're all beefalo. Um, I like to put the tail pretty much right in the crack here so I can kind of hide it a little bit, distract people away from the fact that this is a 3D paper craft and not a real beefalo. You want to try and keep that illusion going for as long as possible, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, now that everything looks pretty good, we're going to try and put the head in. So, these slates will slide right on in. Beefalo are the best! <laughs> okay, looks like it is good to go. Now I just have to find a friend who is into pink and blue beefalo. Make your own beefalo and send it to us at Starving Adventures using the hashtag Daily Low. We'll save and retweet all of the best ones that we see. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was great, there's a lot more. Sometimes we shave beefalo, other times we're hitting turkeys. Subscribe to find out our latest shenanigans. We're also on Facebook. You can find us at Starving Adventures. Did you know that a beefalo can save a child? It can. I've always wondered why, in the winter, we don't just crawl inside the beefalo. They're so warm and loving.